As a barrister who has represented many claimants with disabilities under the Equality Act 2010, I would often come across anxiety upon which a claimant relies as their impairment. However, this is really their sole impairment. It is frequently accompanied by depression, as in anxiety and depression. It would be fair to say that most focus primarily on the latter than the former. I have no explanation for this. However, I think most of us can articulate depression better than we can anxiety when considering it in light of Section 6 of the Equality Act 2010, which requires that in order for a claimant to be deemed to be disabled under the Act, an impairment has to have a substantial and long-term adverse effect on the claimant's ability to carry out normal day-to-day activities. We have all suffered different levels of anxiety, such as, for example, attending a job interview, preparing for exams, giving a presentation at school, university or at work, moving house, moving to a new school, going to university, etc. Most of these are temporary and may be perfectly normal as they do not ordinarily have substantial and long-term adverse effect on the sufferer's ability to carry out normal day-to-day activities or have a substantial and long-term adverse effect on the sufferer's mental health. However, as stated by NHS UK, and I quote, some people find it hard to control their worries, their feelings or anxiety are more constant and can often affect their daily lives, end of quote. According to NHS UK, anxiety is the main symptom of several conditions, including panic disorder, phobias, such as agoraphobia and claustrophobia, post-traumatic stress disorder, we call PTSD, social anxiety disorder, which is a social phobia. Please note that if you feel you are suffering from anxiety, you are strongly advised to inform stroke seek help from your GP.